Exciting and novel opener. So, all right, time for it. Time for today's weekly one-shot. It's Adventure Island 3. It's been sent in by Thagnus, and we've got a really good track record with Adventure Island games. We've played two, and we have never failed to defeat them. Uh, hold on, I think I'm getting my facts wrong here. We have uh, only been defeated by them. Yeah, Adventure Island has kicked my ass for both one and two, but here's hoping we can turn it all around on number three. So this one, I think two did as well. You can bank up your items. You'll be able to collect dragons and axes and whatnot. So without further delay, let's get get going. There we go. And the, the Nez does not play well with the timer. So standard Hudson boilerplate. You play as fat ass Master Higgins Devalwa right here. You run along, you eat fruit, because your health bar is uh, constantly going down, because you're really hungry. Ooh. There we go. But one hit and you're deed. And looks like we have three lives. Let's try and make the most of that. Now, how does this work? I guess we just sit back and enjoy the... No, no, we don't sit back and enjoy the ride. we got to pay attention. Oh well, as a Scot, I never pay, even if it is attention. After using a continue, you can't use your stored items, says Thagnus, master of both Adventure Island and the Double Dragon games. A real asset to have around on this channel. Ah, good morning, Red. Oh wait, it's not even remotely warning. So whilst I'm not really thinking this is going to go all too well, this is probably the easiest of the three, because one was really hard and two was, well I was told it was easier but it sure didn't feel like it. Uh, let's bank our axe for a change and go in completely naked. Now Hudson does control a bit like a slippery bus, probably because he's doing that Russian dancing all the time when he's moving. Look at him go with his legs. And okay, this is new. I don't remember there being a boomerang in the second one, although I don't remember much from the second one. Almost like I've tried to phase it out of my memory. But if the boomerang can break rocks, then I'm happy with it. And as we're used to, we've got the dragons as power-ups. Uh, this one can walk on... Yes, he can walk on lava. Glad we could find that out. And milk in this game also restores your hunger bar, unlike in Boogerman, where it just... Uh, Gives you more snot power. Man, I don't ever want to remember that game, but it doesn't seem to want to leave my mind. Master Higgins, not Hudson. Did I call him Master Hudson? Well, this is Master Higgins de Valois. Alright, we should probably bank up the dragons and... Ah, just bank everything. These are the easy starting levels, so I'm confident we're not going to need any, uh, any hand-holding around here. We just kill and we keep moving. Oh, sweet, got the Hudson Bee. No, that's not the Hudson Bee, it's the Hudson Fairy. I think the Hudson Bee was only around in the first uh, game and allowed you unlimited continues, and thank god it did, because playing without that would be insane. Hell, playing with it was insane. Alright, sweet, we can just roll into things and they die. Probably not including fire, so I'll leave that thing be. So we have a two hour time limit, as if this was two hours of hell. And we're not allowed to use warps. Apparently there are warps in this game that let you bypass levels and uh, entire worlds. So none of that, we don't need that level of hand-holding anyway. Oh, I wonder if this gives me an extra axe when I... Uh when I finish this level. I think I have one in my inventory right now, so... If I have two, then that'll have worked. If I'm counting right, there's a good chance that I'm not. So you always want to be collecting... Hmm? Oh, the bubbles don't hurt, but... Not sure what they give. Always want to be collecting food, because Higgins is one hungry guy. <laughs> 
and dodging just about everything else, because everything hurts. So speed is the aim of the game, but you also want to take it easy. Those are two things that I am not so great at, and because of that I've just lost my dino buddy right at the exit. Cursed Bubba Shrimps. Jake, stop eating so much food, you're losing time at the end of the level. Thankfully, I don't speedrun, I only speed ruin. So it looks like we've got the same usual guys at the uh, showing up as enemies here. Can't think I've seen anything that looks novel yet! Whoa. As ever, my biggest foe is always uh, bottomless pits. And Hudson Game, uh, Master Higgins here, he will be dealing with those all the time. So this guy shoots uh, stars out his arse. Respectable. Oh, I don't like this thing though. We found the eggplant of doom. And he saps your hunger. He will bugger off after a while, but if you clear the game with him, if I recall well, he gives you points. I like points. I also like not dying. Oh, I really like points. 20,000 gives you an extra life. I better keep that one in mind. So, so far things going really smoothly. Although, you know, did you ever expect anything else? I'm gonna guess that there are eight, uh, world, uh, yeah, eight worlds in this game. And I wonder if the boomerang will actually help us out here, because this looks like boss area. I'm gonna pause there and jack up my own volume, because the music for the boss level is pretty cool here. Or maybe it's desert level music. Because every desert has pyramids. He's a big guy, so our friend Higgins here will uh, get sucked away down in the quicksand. I am the keeper of the three eggs. Choose one. Uh, never do anything right. Chomp. It was probably the weakest egg I could have got there. Since the food doesn't really act as health, you know, when it runs out you die. But when everything kills you in one hit, like that, doesn't really feel much like health, it's more of a timer. Uh, let's just jump on in. Now, we don't have to kill everything, it just feels good. Now where was that egg? There we go. Alright, we got ourselves Fire Breathing Dragon. Oh, it must have been thrown into our inventory rather than something we get to use straight away, so I regret not bringing an axe with me. But, game's got us covered, as long as I don't just hightail it into loads of en- oh, okay. That roll does not last for long, I see. I don't know how far uh, Higgins can survive under the quicksand, and I'm not keen on finding out right now. I am keen on killing and keeping moving. Alright, boss o'clock. Too easy! Too damn easy! What was that, eight minutes for one world? We'll be done in... Uh, not long. So we're in 2-1. All these dinosaur buddies we've got access to. Well, let's keep it moving. Probably a good idea to bring an axe into every level, even if I do want to store up my things, because hey, if I have to continue, apparently I lose access to them all. Pretty bad with trajectories and all that, so... Yikes. 
So hitting things well, not my forte. If Rune Factory is anything to go by, my girlfriend is forte. Ah, what a great game. I can't tear myself away from it anymore. Oh, that was just great. I hope I get another extra life at 40,000 points. To that end, getting points is going to be kind of important for me. It's actually harder for me to work this uh, boomerang than anything else. Alright, so let's conserve our dragon buddy a bit more this time, since poor Master Hudson here, he can't walk on lava much as he wishes he could. But what got me? It was you, right? There we go. Check the name of the level, Jake. Coastal Clash. Oh, glad we got that one figured. I think I will actually take my uh, dino buddy with me. I got tons of them in reserve. Oh. Is this good or bad? Looks like it's frozen all enemies. But that was more like an invitation for me to run right into them. Actually, Dragon Buddy's probably going to be really good because he can destroy those, um, the rocks and things. Which is more points for me. And damn, do I need points. Exit or skip. Oh, oops. Well, I better go for the exit. I'm not allowed to skip. I wonder if only the dragon you take to the end counts. Uh, ooh, ooh. Or like, every time I transform there, does the uh, dragon that I used to have get put in reserve? I don't... Wow, that was cheap as hell. I think so? I'm gonna go with sure, why not? Okay, sweet. Every 20,000 is points for me. I'm gonna need as many as I can get my grubby little hands on. Okay, maybe it wasn't cheap as hell, the death that I faced, because if I remember well from the previous game, and of course I remember well, uh, there's a little flower that, t that means a frog is gonna come and ruin your day. Oh, no, not allowed to skip. Easy does it there. As I said, Master Higgins de Valois here does control like a uh, slippery ice cream van. So of course it's not my fault if he uh, simply... That's that's the tell. I should have seen that coming, but I did not. Okay, you know, this guy is really good because it means I can just ram right into uh, enemies. Okay, Ice Cave, also my favorite. Mm, yeah, I'll take both. Let's keep it moving. Oh boy. Now I'm sure you can tell, but it's really slippy here. I'm not pressing anything and I'm going forward that much. Alright, let's hope this will get me out of here. Would you like to skip the boss? Well, yes I would, but I'm not allowed to. And my bonus for being such a nice guy is... nothing. Glad we're on the same page, game. What I could really do with is the, uh... Phew! There's a flying uh, dinosaur, if my memory is uh, working properly. 
Now that I like. This guy doesn't seem to skid on ice though. I like him a lot already. Whilst we eat these frozen berries. And enjoy some pretty Pokemon music. It's my better judgment. I'm gonna bring no dinosaurs here. I mean, what's the point? I'm just gonna uh, fall to good old one hit. Whoa! Okay, there goes that. Okay, that's better. Now I can just blitz my way through. Blitz my way through. I ever mentioned that I really, really don't like bottomless pits in games. I might have brought it up once or twice. This time, for sure. It's gotta be for sure, because I got no life left. Alright, oh, okay. Thought hesitating a bit might save me there. Oh well, back to the title screen, because... Uh, but we can continue. And looks like we restart in the same world, and... Ah, Thagnus was telling Porcupies so we do get access to our guys again. Oddly generous of the game, but I'll take it. Scores reset, but that's okay. No, Jake, you read my messages wrong. That doesn't sound likely. I think you're just saving face. Let's keep it moving. Things are looking okay-ish. And it's like the game is just inviting me to... Well, I don't think that enemy hurt me, even though I ran clean into it. generous place to get my dinosaurs. And some extra points, always nice. It's a real crying shame that I can't use the skips, but well, Thagnus came up with the rules, not me. Everything dies. Okay, back to the horrors of the ice cave. I think we'll take non-slippy guy with us. Um, how many points do I get from those? 200? Well, it means destroying 100 of them gets us an extra life, so I may as well take them all out. Really, it seems in my interest to take everything out. So what do you mean in this stage? Surely you mean in this world. Such a generous game. Ooh, well. So I get for taking advantage of such generosity. Now I get to enjoy being super slippy once more. Let's just get out of here. Speak never again of this level. Alright, fourth time a charm.
All right, pause and go for it. Man, easy. How did I ever fail that before? These clouds are risky biscuits because some of them just fall away. Some of them do not. This thing is also horrible because it forces you to move forward. Although it does tank a hit for you, I'm just glad to get rid of it. 2,000 points ain't too shabby to for it though. Alright, river time. Ah, uh, uh, hell, let's just get moving. Ooh, I want that. Yeah! Uh huh. I'll take it. Wow. It's like I'm playing Kirby here. Okay, now in what way is this guy going to be useful, I wonder? Oh! This I might go for, though. Nah, maybe not. Gutted. Alright, well, Axe is coming with me then. You know, that might have seemed bad, but really we broke even. We got an extra life out of that. Standards for breaking even may have uh, shifted these days. that actually clears the level for me, then I'm pretty happy. Perfect bonus! And I get a what? Okay, no, that did not clear the level. What was my perfect bonus? Your bonus is doing the rest of the level again. Oh, fudge. Oh, what the heck's this? Questions for another time. Hungry Devalwa must always keep moving here. Well, no perfect bonus for us this time. It's okay, it's just a crutch that we never needed. No, 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 and more no. I'm not taking instant move forward to device. Say what you want about uh, Devalwa's insatiable hunger here, but uh, he eats healthily. Okay, this guy I don't ever want to lose. With him, I can fly over entire worlds. Don't know what this is, but I can probably destroy it easily. Because I'm really good. Ooh, what's that? Just me again. Now I'm not sure if Devalwa can uh, run around in that strange goo at the bottom. I'm not about to find out right now. 
Maybe if I get hit and stumble off my dragon, then I'll fall into it and find out, for better or for worse. And to think that dragon thing was nice enough to ask me if I wanted to fight this guy or not. Well, no, he didn't ask that, he just asked it if I wanted to skip, and the answer is yes, but... I don't get to make all the choices in my own life. Oh, swell. Unlike the food situation, that is not swell. Hungry Devalwa needs more food. Seems like a pretty good weapon. Okay, I had a thought there. Whoa! That's what I get for having a thought. My thought was maybe this is the kind of game where if you pause and unpause, It'll uh, forget to stop applying the temporary invulnerability and let me hit again. It was worth a shot. Didn't work. Doesn't make it less worth it. Now, is there still that one up hidden in the rock? Because that was a godsend. Farm that forever. Where did I lose out my dragon guy? Or have I already crossed that path? I think I have. Whew. Yoink. Alright, so we get in maybe two, three, four hits. Or I just stand here. Even better. Sorry, game, you've already lost. Picked a fight with the wrong guy. Master Higgins really got some good facial uh, expressions on him this time around. Alright, two down, six more to go. And same could similarly be said for the timer though. Let's just kill and keep moving. Now I'm pretty sure it's clear to all by now, but uh, let's just go over the situation. If I fail to complete this weekly one-shot, I've got to do a punishment game, and regardless of that, I'm already due a punishment game, so we'll be doing that once we fail this challenge. I mean, once we uh, effortlessly beat Higgins' little adventure here. Which no one in their right mind would suspect we can't make. <sighs> One thing I really don't like in, in uh, the Adventure Island games is always attacking forward, because the hidden eggs. There's no way of seeing them or knowing they're going to be there unless you throw an axe or something else to hear for the little sound, or listen for the wee sound. You have not finished your Majesty 2 punishment, you evil man, Jake. When did I say I'd finish it? Oh, I could do with Blue Dragon here. Now you might reasonably think, how in the world did you miss that? Well... You don't handle so well when jumping in this game. I'll put it down to that. I'm not even pushing any directional inputs here, it's just his fat ass sliding along the ice. 
Whew. At least I didn't lose lives, though. Oh. Uh. Actually, why don't we just uh, do this the incredibly not cheap way? Oh, yoink! Doo -dee doo The letter of the law, if not the spirit. Hmm, why do I think that was a terrible idea now? Well, it worked. Is this a sky level or a water level? I'm guessing water. Those look pretty spiky, so I do not want to be getting hit by those. Limited capability of the NES does not allow for many moving objects at the top of the screen, so enemies spawning there are getting a little hidden out of my sight. It's okay though, we're good enough not to be phased by that. We just kill and we keep moving. Although I should be killing a bit more, I need that score. I need it bad. Huh, what an anti-level. And back to good music area. The Desolation. Whoa, no, okay. Those guys take two hits. At least one of them... No, not happening. At least one of them uh, stops them in their path. What the f <laughs> That was all luck right there. Oh, bollocks. Thank goodness. In raw technicality, games like Gauntlet series display a lot more sprites, so there's no limiter function. Ever. Yeah, but in Gauntlet they treated uh, the sprites as background objects, so they got away with a bit more there. Uh, this looks... Oh! The stage is once again called Bottomless Pit. Thanks for the confidence, game! Wish I'd brought the uh, flying creature with me now. I don't know how either of us missed each other there. I'll take it. Cave apples. Delicious. No. Oh. Ah. Okay, it was not to be. I think that's the dragon I'm already boasting though, so no need. Are they better than dumpster burgers, Jake? Of course. Whoa, okay. So what's your shindig? If it's just throw uh, energy balls at me, then you've already lost. Uh. Well played. No point bringing an axe with me here. Boss levels simply give me an axe. When it comes to boss o'clock. It does make me wonder a bit if my fire attacks are really going to do that much damage against a fire monster, but I doubt they would have thought it through that far. Bollocks! So when I said everything's going to be fine, might have meant not so fine anymore. I'm gonna need that pickup then. Uh, 
And a lot more food. Master Higgins is hungry. Oh, he's hella hungry. Oh, no. Sooner die from being baked alive than sheer hunger. Okay, now I've really got to beat this here and now, otherwise i got to do the whole world again. And the timer is not going to be very forgiving on that front. Wait, how did that give me a life? I'm at 55. Maybe it was just some kind of super app. It's more like it, that will replace uh, at least one of the fire dragons I've lost. Ah, this time. Game is throwing pity lives, rather. Better pity lives than pity knives. Oh, I'm having that though. I feel like I have less maneuverability where I am here. But that means when you do that, I can do this. And then laugh as you don't hit me, right? Aw, oh, hell yes. Everyone knows blue flame glows hotter. <laughs> Too easy. Is this game even trying? Okay, I've only just noticed the counter in the top right. I guess if you eat 100 fruits you get a 1-up as well. That's very generous of the game. Alright, time for another Coastal Clash. Favourite kind of clash. I see what you're trying there, game. Now, the levels that really cost me dearest in the other one... Oh, no. No way. No way, no how. Levels that cost me dearest tended to be the... What the hell was that? Levels where I'm jumping from cloud to cloud, having to dodge... Uh, octopi coming out of the water. It's not my forte. That was a coconut, Jake. Alright, better keep that in mind then. I wonder if I can hit coconuts. We'll never know. Hup. Oh shoot, I'm so hungry! Eh, that cost me. Okay, fortunately... We were right at the start of the world, and we have access to all these guys, so let's keep it moving. I'm being pretty scarce on my dinosaurs, because I can totally see myself needing them more in the future than now. Do, 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 do. Great music, as we would come to expect from anything by Hudson Soft. Okay, I can't destroy the uh, coconuts. But can we destroy the hunger? Hudson must... Uh, Higgins here must think it's so cruel. Gotta go fast, because I'm hungry, but... Running, making me so hungry. Okay, there is no point in wasting resources on this level. It's the first one, and if we just die over and over, then... It's all lost anyway. Plus, I have a few minutes still to wait. Oh! Okay, thought I could crawl there. I should have known. Master Higgins never crawls.
Alright, I know what to do right here. There was no point in pressing on there. I mean, one temptation is to use my flying bird to get over this whole level. I have a feeling that uh, the flying ones are going to be the rarest. Since they could be used like the cape in Super Mario World, it's just, oh, I see a level, I think I'm going to fly over everything. Which is totally what I'd be doing, and probably what I will do if I continue to lose out here. Because you keep it at the end of the level if you make it, so why wouldn't you? Still hungry for that thing. Why does everyone want to bring harm to Master Higgins de Volva? Okay, what's your shindig? Just go away. Whew. Okay, onwards to Oak Forest. I'm satisfied with just my hammer. It's all I need. Forest levels tend to be the easiest anyway. Thing coming, did I? Mm, wonder if Malay might not be better here. Nah, I need something ranged. Well, should rephrase, I want something ranged. Okay, well. I should have thought of that, shouldn't I? Damn eggplants. Maybe eggplant will be uh, an axe since I have nothing. Nope. Mm, over. Gotta jump because there's a fox on my ass. Oh, that is a fox, right? I don't like these guys. was a trap. A trapple, if you will. <sighs> okay, starting to um, eat into time that I don't have here. So long, level! Ah, everyone's a fool but me. Oh. Oh yeah, those. Well, it was nice having my flying buddy. He's gone forever now. I think I got 2,000 points for keeping that guy on screen. Alright, I'm gonna need some kind of aggressive weapon here, and this thing has the range. Can't take out fires, but... Whoa! Can't take out a lot of things. Oh, bollocks. Should have seen it coming. Somehow didn't. Taking out big old boulders is nice. I'm so hungry. So hungry. No. Oh. Okay, chewing through my items here, like I said, I didn't want to. 
Ah. This is horrible. Mm, maybe you'll do. You know, I kind of amazed myself at how I managed to get that thing. <sighs> Alright, so once you do your attack, you can't immediately do it after. You got like a third of a second cooldown. Better keep that one in mind. Okay, I think I'm starting to love the green guy. Muhammad D6 is asking, what's the punishment if I fail? If I fail? Wow, you might be the most optimistic guy to come in yet. Bollocks. More so than me, at least. There's a link bef uh, below the stream showing all the submitted punishment games. Oh, nice to have you back. need about uh, 3,700 points right about now. This game kind of likes its vertical levels, doesn't it? Oh, okay. Forgive me for thinking that looked like an enemy I could kill. Was terrible, I lost a lot of stuff there. And I don't have my bird buddy to get me through this. Now I've already rolled the punishment game that I still have to do for, you know, I can't even remember what I failed in the past that needs this. Might even be as far back as Banjo Kazooie. So I'll be playing that, and then the punishment game that I may or may not get from this will come at a later date. I never put them in solidly what date they are, because I never know. A lot of it depends on how I feel on any given day. But today I was feeling particularly inclined to do doing one. points this time, though. Where'd my 2,000 points go? I am chewing through the green guys, but this level's tough. Thanks for the points. I don't think I'm getting many points for scoring kills with this guy, though. Or I wonder if that's even part of it. Maybe they'd be giving me 100 points anyway, but... Just saying, it doesn't look all that profitable. <sighs> if a punishment game was uh, that we suggested was picked, can we pick another? Of course you can. I'm the one subjected to one-shots, not you. Oh, what, what, wait, what? Got very confused. I was thinking, isn't that the plant that makes the, uh, the foxes appear? Why would that be a pickup? Well, given evil eggplants are pickups, 
I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. This guy seems quite a bit not useful around here. But I'm not super sold on my chances here anyway, because a lot of things that want to kill me. Let's just take it eat. Oh. Okay. Let's take it easy, alright. Oh, Jesus. Bear me, Higgins. This is the kind of level where the time limit is most cruel. Ah! Because running blindly is gonna get you killed. I think I prefer this weapon for a uh, place with so many flying creatures anyway. Because when they come down at you like that, like that, the axe is superior. Oh, okay. I'll just forget about the boomerang and pick it up anyway then. There's some really awful graphics on those things, though. It reminds me of, um... Cheetah Man. And if you make a game that makes someone say it reminds me of Cheetah Man, you've made a bloody awful game. And just, uh... Subscribe to my fate by this point. The boomerang is at the very least handy for taking out the boulders there, if not much else. Let's take it easy. Crush. Of course, you need to hold down attack if you want to be able to run. that I start on this level. This will be interesting. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I never needed that pickup, right? Looks like I can finally kill that guy. Oh, okay. No, can't roll through that. Can't handle the bad weather. Whew. And these Adventure Island games sure are merciless sometimes. Now I have until the turn of the hour to be uh, beaten with this. Uh, sorry, to be finished with this world if I want to stay on anything resembling a reasonable track here. Which means six and a half minutes. That doesn't seem uh, particularly great. But I'm at my best when my back's against the wall, right? Hmm. I think I know what to do with the next couple of Hudsons. Hudson, Higgins, what does it matter? He's no master until he's done with this world. I mean, I know this level inside out. I've got no excuse for losing here. Of course, I also have no excuse for consistently missing that pineapple. 
You'd think after all that time of playing Rune Factory 4, I'd be master of grabbing pineapples. Evidently, you'd be wrong. There was a pickup towards the end of this level, right? Or was it the other level? Must have been the other one. <laughs> I predict again or hammer, says Veteran. Harsh. Even if you fail this, Jake, remember, no more Adventure Island from me. Well, that's very generous of you. I'm so tired of Adventure Islanding. I'm not scared to admit that I can't beat the Adventure Island games. They are hard, and I am not nearly hardcore enough for them. That said, I did pretty good on one of them. Was it the first one? That was one of them which I uh, came real close. I think I got right to the end, but it was still just not to be. Ah, oh, that was the level where there's a pickup towards the end. Ah, wheel. We would not be seeing the WiiWare version. Alright, Desolation O'Clock. Oh, what? <laughs> that was obscenely terrible performance by me there. Ah, oh, well. Hmm? <laughs> oh, see ya, level. So there is a way into that thing. And now we know. I will never forget this knowledge. I'm going to be banking those crystals because they are certainly going to come in handy later on. Alright, what were we thinking here? You know this... Well, happily ditch uh, the boomerang. But I think this guy will be really good here against the flying creatures, because I can just smash right into them without any care about what they do to me. Same goes for these things. Same does not go for these things. Whew! Haha, <laughs> what do you think about that? You don't think anything because you dead. Hmm. Hmm. Who would have thought being cocky would do me in? Any attacks, and I did not bring my good old uh, hammer with me. We're just gonna have to. Ooh. Chomp. Are you kidding me? Whew. It was not kidding me. I did not see that boomerang there at all. Wishing I did, but oh well. It was not to be. But same can be said for this monster. Looks underwatery though. Maybe I should bring Lapras. Maybe I should also bring a weapon. Uh huh. Well, say what you will about Master Higgins here, he can really hold his breath. And he's great at eating underwater. I don't think many people have that skill.
Now this is not the kind of game that... What? Well, glad we figured that out now. This is not the kind of game that rewards exploration easily. Thankfully, I'm really lucky. So I just go where my heart tells me. life to too easy more like all right this I'm not feeling super uh, great about no Lapras means very little maneuverability very little maneuverability holy rivens this is just a little scary yikes I'm every bit as slow as I look here Oh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't need to go fast anyway. Crivens. No. No, oh, not sure if there was escape from that. Alright, what was it that uh, killed Lapras so quickly? And how oh, it was you. Well, not this time, buddy. I got other ways to lose my friends. Cool level though. Love the visuals here. Alright. I know it was incredibly slow to use, but the nice thing about the boomerang is you can throw it up. Okay, we're running over time for this world now. But you probably don't need me to tell you, ain't good. Well, I guess it depends on your point of view, really. For some people, they would love nothing more than to see some punishment game action. Because they're monsters. Alright, not even worth my time attacking down into that, but an up attack, yeah, that's worth it. Almost there. Probably. Great music, just great. And good night. Really lucky. That explains the scrubbery. Wow, I don't know who should be more uh, more offended there, Callum. All right, our specialty: cave levels with fire. Okay, the fire cannot be destroyed with more fire. Where's my uh, fire burger? Oh, okay. Dragons don't like being impaled then. It's all new world, so why don't I just take it a bit easier? Maybe that was too easy. Oh, hell no. Somebody stop me! Stopping. <sighs> if you already had two axes on screen, you can't throw another one, so it wasn't like I was just being completely retarded there. Only slightly. Uh, you know what, I don't need weapons here.
Got everything I need. No. Uh, that's not an easy timing. Yeah, this is practically begging to have the dinosaur used here. So two disappearing platforms and one that only appears sometimes. And there's a rock at the end. No, oh, no. It's more than a little cruel. One fire dragon. I guess they'll be used next. I know another dragon that could deal with this level. Sadly, I killed it. There we go. Couldn't dodge the rock, but I'll take it. The little rocks out of the ground only do uh, hunger damage to you. Which, in the grand scheme of things, ain't that much. What the hell was that? Okay, so something stopped me dead in the air. Let us find out. Cannot afford to lose this guy. He's too important to everything. Oh, fun! I don't even know how I lost him there. So I, I hit something up there that opened up a hidden passage? That was the secret passage that I couldn't get into without the dinosaur anyway, so... Well, that boat sailed. Oh, flawless. Ah! Okay, so opening that somehow paused me in midair. It's fine and all, but uh, ain't no way down there. Not without my good friend Red Dino. That's probably a skip, though, and Thagnus would not uh, not allow that. Perilous Plunge. Is that the sequel to Bottomless Pit? Oh, bollocks. Spare me, game. Alright, so let's never crack that thing open. Wait, is that even possible not to... Yeah, it must be. Right, so I guess if you get the nasty um, eggplant thing, you gotta make it to that meat on the bone before you die from healthiness. Not that we have that problem anymore. Also don't need it, because we have this one. That's not all we got. Alright, we're living on a prayer here, but we're still alive. Wow, okay, those things also only trip you up instead of killing you if they've retracted into their shell. Good to know. The time is still not looking very good for me, but that's where this'll save me, right?
Easy money. Maybe I don't play enough of these uh, adventure games, but I always associate falling coconuts with Nez and nothing later. You saw them in Kirby. Okay, Snez as well then. But not so much in modern games. Alright, Fox up the arse. Not this time, game. Not any time. Five minutes and no lives to clear the rest of this world. Fortunately, the forest areas are the easiest. Oh no. No, not my arch rival bad weather. Born in Scotland, living in Sweden, I've seen the worst of it. And you might go, hey, sure, but you don't get, like, typhoons and hurricanes. You know, that's terrible and all, but there's nothing as bad as Dreek. Fun Factory. Oh, well, back to our favorite, Bottomless Pit. I know why you're struggling, Jake. This game has no currency. Your greed powers are useless. It has food. You can certainly be greedy for that. I really wish I had a big old dragon with me so I could see what's in that secret. Ah, right. We've learned more. I can get that enemy on screen. Green. It's all relative, guys. Whew. Not quite flawless, but as long as I make it. So was there any indication at all that you could destroy that bit of the wall? None whatsoever! Just pretend it's death road to Canada. Food is currency. And that's not without its reasons. Alright. Let's go, sexy fairy thing. Yeah, you know, I'd really rather just lose the skateboard immediately. It's such a horrible anti-pickup. Should have slowed down, I had plenty of health. But nothing to live for. Ooh! Interesting way to do it. I was fearful that the um, eggplant would override sexy fairy thing. Okay, no lives, no hope, no problem. Those just weigh you down. Skateboard gives you one extra hit point. Yes, but it's a liability. A huge liability. I wonder if any of these things can hurt me in, in uh, pause mode. If I was still back at the start of the game, I'd be keen to check that, but... Not here and not now. If 
you learn to master it, it'll give you strength. Yeah, not gonna learn to master it in the next 45 minutes. Okay, well, at least I'm not chewing through any more, uh, any more of my resources, but I've certainly been chewing a plenty. I want to get through this flawlessly, so I can have as much as I can handle into the next levels. A one, a two, and almost flawless. We're losing a bit of uh, a bit of foodometer is no biggie. I really want to enter that. Put me out of my misery, Thagnus. Is it a warp? And as such, I shouldn't be going anywhere near it anyway. I don't need my axe here. Do these guys just kill themselves? Ooh! I'm very soon going to wish I had my axe now. <laughs> okay, I am very glad how that turned out. I could have gone extremely south. Alright, we're good. Full lives. Coastal clan. Now, this one was easy. Now snakes, when we started this game, they didn't move. Now they jump at me and spit fire. So the game does get progressively harder. Ah, oh, it's like three times now that same thing. Ah, uh, well, what can you do? Oh, I can jump on them, that's kinda cool. I'm really about to wish I still had my axe, but maybe it'll make me less complacent. It makes me stop and think about that, for example. And yeah, that's a trap. It's full of traps. Like you. Hey, let's just take a moment to appreciate that fat, ugly fox. Oh, crap. You don't move if I don't hit you, do Oh, nice. 2,000 points again. Is that like a pacifism bonus? Because I don't kill anything there. Pacifism should never be rewarded, but this game sees fit. I'm going to take uh, Gringo here with me. Oh, that was short-lived. Okay, I think bad weather trounced me last time, so let's just take it a bit easier. No, not happening. Come on. What an evil, malicious bastard. Look at that smile on his face, too. Okay, must be a pacifism bonus, then. So you clear ten levels without killing anything, and you get uh, an extra life. That's kind of nice. Speaking of not very nice, time for Bottomless Pit. Whew. Oh, 
Oh. Uh. I want that a lot, but it would kill me, so I can't have it. <sighs> so this level does require quite a bit of speed then. Fortunately, speed is my middle name. With that, I can take it just a bit easier. And this is where I need a real run and jump. Go for it! Fly your magnificent fat ass Higgins! Oh, that's not all we're getting. Can this dragon go in lava? Unlikely! Bollocks! Really chewing through my uh, boomerangs here. And I have no more lives left to waste. to start with even fewer resources. Well, it's looking pretty unlikely for this run. Not that it was ever looking that great. I reckon something like three hours, no problem, but two? No. But two hours of hell is what we did the other adventure islands to. Wait, is that true? Were they all two hours of hell? Or was one of them a punishment game? Well, you know, I can't quite remember. Flawless. Both of them were two hours of hell, confirmed Sackness. Cheers. Nah, I don't need no pity axe here. Not when we got the fairy and the meat. The double meat. I'm going to be getting enough points for extra life territory, but I can hope. Sometimes it's all you've got. For such a chubby man who lives on a tiny island that couldn't possibly support much uh, cardio, he can jump pretty high. At least the dosh is rolling in. Nothing gets the dosh rolling in quite like uh, dancing till I drop. I'm tempted to do another endless mode uh, tomorrow, since I didn't realize it at the time, but what I did... When was that again? Uh, oh, oh. Maybe I should try focusing on the game here. What I did on Thursday was the longest endless play that I've ever done. It broke my last record, which was a little over two hours. So it was at 129 songs in a row. That was really a bit insane. I could barely move the day. Fun. Could barely move the day after, but it felt good. 
One thing is, uh, Friday and indeed today, I have never... I mean, obviously I've been breathing all day, it's what I do. But no breath I have taken has made me feel like I've filled my lungs. It's an odd feeling. They always feel oddly vacant now. Maybe that's good, maybe that's really bad, but it is what it is. Next time I'd be keeping more than 48 ounces of water. Okay, I am almost into the amount of time that I would uh, expect for the next world as well. Just to get an idea of how this run is going. Of course, it's also worth putting the caveat in that I have never played this game before. I played its prequels, both of them. They both went terribly, because these are very difficult games. But that means I'm unfamiliar with the level designs in this game completely. Is that an excuse? Well, not really. Master of games like me should have no problem beating this. Clearly I'm having an off day. Okay, so all fruits are equal, I guess. Wait, why is it even list them as uh, fruits then? Because we get plenty of vegetables and... Uh... Not again! I should never bring the axe with me on this level. It just makes me completely complacent. I guess meat is a vegetable in this game. I'm sure if you do that jump, there is room to re-maneuver yourself so that you don't get killed by that guy. But for the life of me, I can't see it. Can't see if there's a bonus. A pity bonus of anything. Uh, I decided I like this guy for Oak Forest, right? So I can kill him off almost immediately. Hey, you might be able to take out the bad weather for me though. Worthless, he can't even kill fire. Oh wait, no, I got the bonus there, and I was definitely not a pacifist. So many mysteries in this game. Alright, you're coming with me, and uh, you're all I need. We only need speed in this level if we don't do well grabbing the manga meat. We got it. Let's take it easy, kill and keep moving. What's this shindig again? Up and away we go. Wait for this guy to fire and then go for it. Go! Now this I kind of don't like. I feel less well kitted out with this guy and... That's exactly the problem! <sighs> it's okay taking that hit, I'm pretty sure the meat fills you up fully. 
I'm pretty sure the meat fills you up fully. Well, the game gives us a pity life, so we can keep going. And boy, are we going to have to keep going. Come on, game. It's a painful game to play, really. That said, I would expect to get a bit further than World 5 by now. Maybe I'm getting worse at these games the more I play. Still no fire dragon to unmask that mystery. Good thing that the double punishment was abolished as you'd have ten by now, says Vet. Yeah, no kidding on that one. So now we're eating into the uh, the world after the next world tile. Oh no! Well, at least we get some points for clearing with this. Well, that did not feel worth my time. This level is no problem. The next level, as long as we bring in our green buddy, also no problem. I will not be caught on this one again, ever. We just kill and we keep moving. Higgins looks so happy on the skateboard. And he really does. It's the only technology he knows of. Okay, I am getting really low on my green friends now. A little surprised that the... Uh, Green Dragon faction no longer wants to help out Master Higgins here. Oh boy, I thought I could mash you from here. Ah! Oh. Oh dear. Attempts on that thing's life really got me down. Oh well, let's not risk losing any more of our green guys. Might come into a situation where we need them a lot more later on. Uh, let's risk the life of our green guy, because I really want to be done with this world. We'll see of him unless I clear this in the patented one shot manner without killing him. Oh, was that always there? Ooh. 
One shot manner. Jake just hums in anger. Hilarious. Well, it's better than screaming out. Well, maybe that's debatable. Did this ever do me any good here? I think I brought it quite often and the survey said no. Hey, that's kind of cool. <laughs> he grabs his hat as he ducks down. Oh, nice. Pity life. It's just as vitality granting as any other kind of life, so we'll take it. <sighs> I don't like this guy, but he's coming with me. kinds of off. Alright, resources are running extremely dry here. And we are long since out of time on all of this. Adventure Island's a real horror. I mean, when it comes to these kinds of games, Lucky tends to be quite a bit better than me, and he can pick up where I fail. Even Lucky can't beat the Adventure Island games, so there's a... Uh... Well, there's the proof of how not easy they are. Either that or me and Lucky are both terrible. I'd considered that option, but quickly dismissed it. Impossible. That said, at least on the other games I could get further than World 5. This is a bit disgraceful. Well, I guess the time, uh, time granted was different. I played on with, uh, with the other one quite a lot longer. Oh, what a horrible game. And man, the game waiting for me in the punishment game is even worse. This will be the day where I, uh, I realize I hate streaming because I play nothing but gash games. And then pack it in forever. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Not this time. I'm sure people thought I was going to fall for it. But like I said, never again. One thing that tends to get me... Oh, that was different. One thing that tends to get me are the foxes, and I've only fallen prey to those a uh, couple of times, maybe? Close, but I'll take it. Ah, got ya. Now, if I were single digit years old again, I'm sure I would nail this game as a kid. Because I was really good at games back then. Not only that, I had great memory too. Better times. Alright, we made it on uh, the final one shot with you before. I'm sure we can do it again. Just 
Just always got to keep in mind there's a break between when you can use your attacks as this guy. If you remember that, you'll crush everything. Did I grab that uh, boomerang? I'm sure I did. No way would I not. This is the level that has proven fatal to me. But no more. Or as Irons would say, but no longer. And to think taxidermy used to be my hobby. I'm fine with those things if they jump down a little bit, but the ones that jump down all the way into the fire... Deadly. Because I am not the master of timing. That mastery belongs to others. BOLLOCKS! Maybe I should just stop getting that guy, but now I have no weapons. whole level would be completely different if I had my flying bird. Oh, oh, if I forget that I die. Well, I didn't forget it, I just missed it, so I also die. Ah. <sighs> And we had plain sailing up until World 5, and now it's just slapping me around. Because it's hitting me with Bottomless Pit times 2. Well, if people ever felt that my hatred towards Bottomless Pits was... What the hell was that even? If people ever felt that my hatred towards Bottomless Pits was unjustified, I just direct you right here. I think Master Higgins' uh, shins just gave out there. I like, I'm too fat for this nonsense. <laughs> Bollocks is a staple phrase of the Adventure Island games. At least this level's a joke. So let's find new and interesting ways to die on it. Its joke level is so high that I'll even take the skateboard with me. And... Bringing the axe is... Usually the way I die on this level, but not this time. I know everything there is to know about this level. And I want the extra score from killing things. Do I look like a pacifist to you? Is that the face of mercy? Oh, bollocks, that guy again. How is he hitting me now? What did I used to do? Just jump over him? Never again. 
Alright, not the best of situations to be crawling myself into the next level, but bottomless pit, I gotta deal with it some way, somehow. Oh wait, no, this is Oak Forest. Aye, aye, aye. A non-entity, really, so long as we just believe in our... Oh. I've made that mistake at least three times now. Oh? Yes! Yes, I really, really would, but Thagnus is a monster. Maybe there's another one here? Nah. Thing is, unless you have a weapon, you don't really have a way of knowing where those uh, hidden secrets are. And even if you do have a weapon, you just have to hurl it constantly everywhere. Is Skip really a warp, Jake? Skips ahead to the next world, so yes. Aye. Cruel, but these are the conditions we agreed to. I didn't tell you to play. No, Thangness, you definitely did. If I root through the logs, there are going to be numerous times of you saying that I should be playing Adventure Island. So don't you try to act innocent. Oh, this is this is going from bad to worse. Actually, I think we long since passed the worst part. this level down to a fine art. I'm Sue says, I think Jake's lost this one. Five minutes per world, it's doable. What? Oh, well, I don't even know how I managed that. Okay, I'm coming along with even fewer lives than normal here. running in gung-ho. Goodbye. Wow, Thagnus is saying that it's uh, fine to use that warp, but only that one. No, it's not. Oh, well, that's one warp. Warp to death. Let's see, we got about 11 and a half minutes. That's enough time to beat World 5. I just need to get past that one sticking point to the other bottomless pit. And I can do that, because I'm really good at games. <sighs> Could have done without losing that uh, life there, though, but what you gonna do? So this level's a freebie. I don't think we've ever died on it. So much so, we'll just take this thing. Yeah. If World 5 is this painful to clear, I wonder how World 8 is. Uh, they probably all just get worse after each other. Par for the course on this game.
But like I said, I'm really good, so I'm sure I'll pull something out of my butt. <laughs> I'd actually forgotten about that guy. The reason I stopped was... Uh... Why did I stop? Is that what they call subconscious? Ooh! Oh yeah! Our green friend is back once again to see us through the forest. And the forest levels are the easiest levels. I forget which part I keep getting myself killed on here, but... Oh well, it's not that important, I'm sure. It wasn't that, that was new. Once again, our green friend is no more. Well, I don't often come through this naked. Oh, hang on! This is really good for dealing with uh, bad weather. Looks like an attack upwards with it. First time for everything. Whew. Jake, time to engage Aristostrats, but there's no France to ally here. Unless you mean take in the blue dinosaur, but I hate that thing. Oh well, let's go. I do have another life waiting for me here, if I kill enough and eat enough. Fortunately, I'll get a good chunk of that out of the meat. Yeah! Alright, we are what is known as sorted. That dragon is nothing but trouble. Oh, jeez. I just gotta go in this one blind, I think. Alright. Hop. What is that? What is also that? They don't look very friendly. Whoa! That was nout but luck. Back my island girlfriend. Taking this guy, if only for the safety of having one more shot. Can't say one more shot without what. <laughs> okay! There's our one extra shot go I don't really have the food to be slow here. Higgins hungers. Alright, eat this. Oh, it's one use only. I 
I think, well damn, is the phrase to be used there. Alright, I got five minutes to clear this world and I have no resources left. It's alright, the axe is all you got in the first game, it's all you've ever needed. Flawed, but done. Yeah, I bet that uh, that bat thing there gives you a drop. Seems too suspicious not to. Time to pull a Contra. <sighs> Contra finisher was pretty amazing, but that's because I'm really good. really important for getting that uh, score up. Now the out Oni finish was just the world pooling all of its resources to make sure that I wouldn't fail it. I think like Satan had a bet on me or something. and decided I would not lose. It's the only reason I can come up with for managing to beat that game in time. We still haven't seen any good horror here for a... Oh, it happened. We still haven't seen any real good horror on this channel for uh, quite some time. Maybe it's because there is no good horror anymore. <sighs> I feel disgraced by this part now. Well, I was looking at Spooky's House of Jump Scares for a uh, weekly one-shot, since that's on the list. And it's free, always a bonus. Ah, oh, damn, I wanted you dead so I could get my, bo uh, my green friend. I don't know, something about it just looks a bit... not very spooky. Can't put my finger on it. Okay, two minutes. Uh, that doesn't look great for finishing World 5. said we're really good so we might be able to manage it congrats on the 1.5 million views Jake I'm not sure if that's something to congratulate about it's simply a testament to viewer reduction strats failing Mind you, 2-2-2 two, two, two this time on a Saturday is higher than expected. Alright. At least we know how to deal with Bottomless Pit now. We grit our teeth, we clench our buttocks, and we hope for the best. While planning for the worst. Sir. Oh damn, I do want you actually. Because if I get you to the end of this level, then uh, I can use you. Ah! That was the sound of me being uh, a bit mad. I don't like letting that sound out in the channel often.
Well. But I gotta say, Adventure Island is a frustrating experience. Mostly because every mistake you make is truly your own. Even that one. Hmm, Gacker gave me a great idea. This wouldn't count as a uh, weekly one-shot if it was all just an elaborate fake-out. And I do now have, at a button press, Stronghold Fake-Out. A consideration. You know what, you're fast. I don't even need these things. I can just woo my way over everything, except the ghosts, I guess. Ah, f okay. Higgins, you fat, useless bastard. Not the stronghold vacant. <laughs> well, stronghold will have to return because we have not played Crusader nor Crusader 2. One of those things is not like the other. Oh shoot, I forgot the, uh, the meat. Ah. Oh. No, it, I think it's finally time to hang up my Adventure Island boots. I am not good enough at this game. I couldn't beat any one of the three of them. And I guess that's gonna be another one added to the mod list. Because I've yet to see anyone beat it. No one's even taken on the Adventure Island challenge. So, the only takeaway I have from that is everybody thinks it's too easy to even bother trying. <sighs> oh well. Why don't we make this seamless? I'm just going to uh, throw things over to the punishment game, so just a sec on that one. <laughs> 